Hi friends, this is Muhammad Jibran and welcome to our C Sharp Tutorials. In this video, I'll be showing you how to add data into the database using a web form. So for that, let me just go and uh, create a new website. We'll be selecting one empty website. We'll uh, name that as uh, test YouTube. okay then we'll just say okay and as you can see I don't have anything so let me just go and add a new web form and uh, in that uh, let me just create a normal um, registration form just give me a minute so I've created this uh, simple table registration page over here with the minimum fields so that is name phone number username password and confirm password so we'll change the uh, text as register and then uh, we'll change the text box name to underscore txt name and then next one I will make it as underscore txt number third one will be underscore txt user name and the first one will, this one will be txt password and then the last one will be underscore txt confirm password okay so now we have uh, arranged all this now I need to add the database so for that right click your project say add new items go down till you find SQL server database if you want to change the name change the name but I'm keeping it as it is and just add that it would uh, it will ask you if you want to add uh, that database to a folder named as app data folder say yes for that now it will add a database for you and uh, if you have your server explorer open you can see what all your uh, database contains that is it's some database diagrams some tables views stored procedures and right now everything is empty so they won't have anything in them like stored procedures there are nothing stored views there are nothing so there are no tables stored so everything will be empty we can just verify if you wish okay i'll just go and uh, show you tables if there are any there are nothing okay so now if you don't have the server explorer you can just go to your view and you can add your server explorer from here so now once we have that will right click on our tables and will say add new table and in that first we will be giving one id column i hope you guys are familiar with the databases if not i'll just give you a brief you need a column to be identical or to be distinct than any other column which cannot be repeated so for that we need one variable one column with the name id and then we need all this fields like this name phone number username password and confirm password so then next one will be name that will be data type envircare i'll keep the size as 50 only then i'll take number the size will be int and then i will take uh, i think user id yes that was username take user name this will be envircare and then I'll take password that will be again on Varkal. Uh, let's not just bother about these limits. We are just seeing how we can pass the data from your page to the database. Confirm password. Again, this will be on That's it. And now select your ID column and make hit this key. It says set primary key. And uh, over here, 
just go down and say identity specification yes okay fine identity specification yes this identity yes identity increment by one and it will start from one so now we don't need to add manual data into your this id column it will be getting incremented as soon as you add values into that so let's just save that say yes and uh, we'll say registration table okay so say okay and now you have your table created over here now the next thing i would like to add is a link file select your project say add new item and uh, uh, search for a file which says link to sql classes we will again keep the default name data classes and just say add and again it will ask you if you want to add the that file into an app underscore code folder say yes and you will have your class over here and your class will look something like this in this we'll drag and drop the table which we added just now let me just tell you that this is a link file using which we can connect to our database okay so this works as a mediator between your c sharp code and the uh, database SQL data server SQL server database okay so now we'll just close this and we'll save this file and we'll we'll come back to our default page over here what I, what I want to do is when the user enters all this value I will hit register and this all the values should go into the database and get stored over there so how can I do that just show you double click your register button so that you come back come to the default.aspx.cs page in the button one click event what is button one button one that this is our button once it it's hit this code will be executed <coughs> so in that what i need to do is first of all i will create one object of my data classes so the name of that is data classes data context i will say da equals new uh, data classes data context and now we'll create a, a object for my table okay we'll create one <coughs> object of our table so how can we do that that is recession table we'll say record equals new so now we have a object of our table with us now so i will say record that is i want to get the column from my record table which column i want first is the name column you can go in any order but uh, we'll follow the default order which is over here so that we don't uh, uh, forget any column over there so we'll say record dot name so i want to get put value into the name column from where that will be from my underscore text name text box dot text okay so now i want to send the value from my underscore text name dot text text box okay. right. which is over here from here i would like to send the data to my this column that's what i'm doing over here we'll do the same thing with the remainings also uh, dot number will be oops give me a second underscore txt name dot text then over here i'll say underscore txt number dot text then we'll go to the next column in our table that is username that will be coming from underscore txt username dot text record dot password record dot password will be equal to underscore txt password dot text and then record dot confirm password will be coming from underscore txt confirm password dot text so now we have shown from where we are getting the data and where we are putting the data 
but if you see we are getting one uh, error over here let me just read out what is that it says cannot implicitly convert type string to int it means that it cannot automatically convert a string data type to an integer data type. String is what it is because we are taking the text. So text is a string according to him. And uh, what we define the data type of our number column over there is an int. So he is unable to convert string to int. So if he is unable to convert, we should do that. So how to do that? That's very simple. You need to type convert dot there is one method in the convert class will use that to convert our string into an int now this will convert this string into an integer and that will get saved in our numbers column once this all is done you can say your uh, data classes data context object that is da da dot da dot uh, registration tables dot insert on submit what do we want to say which object that is the record object and uh, just to make sure that we uh, save the data successfully we'll use one try and catch block in the try block i will say da dot submit changes if we successfully submit the changes so we will be writing response dot write will write that data successfully stored okay <clears throat> if we uh, failed to do that will write or will respond to the user failed okay so now this was our brief code about that so let me just uh, save that and uh, just uh, go and uh, uh, run your page just to see if everything works fine. So now you have your page ready in front of you. You can give name as Jack and uh, you can give phone number as uh, one two three four five six whatever you want username you can give as uh, again jack jack the password can be uh, abc abc and the confirm password abc abc right now they are not doing anything they are just uh, uh, mere text boxes so they won't uh, mean uh, mean anything we are just seeing if we are able to save the store the data or not so we'll say register it says data successfully stored if you go back and uh, if you just refresh your server explorer and uh, just say show table data you should be having some new data over here if you want you can go and uh, uh, add a new member you can say like diamond phone number as 8888888 username as again diamond I got it wrong then password 1234561234567 and just register him and it says data successfully stored so just uh, come back and close this and just refresh your server explorer and say show table data wait for a while and here you have it your diamond has entered the table so this is how you add uh, data into the server or database tables so this was it for this video hope you understood and thanks for watching